Here's the VFX breakdown of the real life Maker Pen video. The first thing I did was 2D print the Maker Pen. Unfortunately, while trying to remove the supports, I accidentally broke the very end of the handle, but I mean it really didn't matter that much. After that, I drew some dots on the model that I would use to 3D track it later. Then I actually had to go outside and touch grass. I know, crazy right? Now that I had my footage, I just imported it into Synthize, the 3D tracking software, and I created a basic mask around my controller in hand so the automatic camera tracking software wouldn't really get that confused, you know, and pick it up as, you know, the ground or something. Then after I had a decent track of the camera, I had to manually track the dots on the controller. When I was done with that, I could finally just move the entire thing into Blender. Now that I had the CG pen fully lined up with the real life one, I could make some tweaks to the CG lighting to make it look more realistic. I also created a mask of my hand in After Effects using the Roto Brush tool to be used later. Now the slight problem is with the Maker Pen currently is that the lighting looks a little bit off on the handle because there wasn't an actual hand to cast the shadows on the CG pen. So I attempted to use a rigged hand I found online but I mean it didn't really quite work. So what I ended up doing was I created some geometry around the controller and I just projected the rotoscope version of my hand from the camera onto that geometry and that finally gave me some decent results. And now with that done, I could create the drawing effects using Blender's particle system and metaballs. For those wondering, metaballs are just, well, balls that can merge with each other. All I had to do was attach a particle emitter where the pen tip was and turn off gravity. I could finally render the whole thing and import the CG pen into After Effects. I overlaid the rotoscoped hand from earlier on top of the CG pen just so, you know, it looks like I was actually holding it and I had to fix a double shadow issue that was caused by the CG and real life controller both casting a shadow. I fixed this by just making a mask around the CG shadow to get rid of it. And now, with that, I could just finally add some sound effects. And that's how I did it. Thanks for watching.